Can alternative therapies improve sexual life? What is the truth behind myths about female ejaculation? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Some alternative therapies, such as acupuncture or massage therapy, may benefit sexual life by reducing stress and enhancing relaxation. However, it's important to consult a healthcare professional before trying these therapies. Female ejaculation, known as squirting, is real and natural for some women, but not all experience it. This phenomenon is not related to urinary incontinence. It is crucial to debunk these concepts to understand female sexual experiences accurately and respectfully. Power Role Fantasies Some people enjoy sexual fantasies involving power roles, such as boss-employee, teacher-student, or doctor-patient. These fantasies can provide a safe way to explore consensual power exchange in a controlled environment. Prevention of mother-to-child transmission. With proper treatment during pregnancy and childbirth, the transmission of certain STDs from mother to baby can be prevented or significantly reduced. Recognition of pornography as entertainment. Despite controversies and debates about its impact, pornography remains widely recognized as a form of adult entertainment and an expression of human sexuality. Rediscovery in the digital age. With the advent of the internet, the Kama Sutra has experienced a resurgence online with numerous websites, blogs, and resources dedicated to exploring and sharing its teachings in a modern context. Relaxation and sexual performance. Foreplay helps women relax and release tension, which can improve their sexual performance and increase the likelihood of reaching orgasm during penetration. Risk factors. Some factors, such as engaging in unprotected sexual intercourse, having multiple sexual partners, using intravenous drugs, and having a history of previous STDs, can increase the risk of contracting an STD. Safe exploration. It's always important to practice consent, safety, and respect when exploring fetishes and sexual fantasies. This ensures that all parties involved feel comfortable and secure. Seduction games. Seduction and flirting are key components of foreplay as they increase sexual tension and anticipation, setting the stage for a more intense and satisfying sexual experience. Sensual massage. Sensual massages during foreplay can help relax muscles, reduce anxiety, and increase sexual arousal in women, creating an intimate and stimulating environment for sexual activity. Sexual and gender identity. Diversity. Human sexuality is diverse and complex, and individuals may identify with a wide range of sexual and gender identities, including heterosexual, gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, transgender, among others. Sexual empowerment. Actively participating in foreplay can empower women by allowing them to express their sexual desires and needs openly and without inhibition, promoting greater self-confidence in themselves and their sexuality. Sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is an important part of the human experience and can manifest in various forms, including physical contact, erotic stimulation, emotional affection, and shared intimacy. Sexuality and culture. Sexuality is strongly influenced by cultural factors, such as social norms, religious beliefs, and family traditions, which can lead to a wide diversity of attitudes and sexual practices in different parts of the world. Sexuality and old age. Sexuality knows no age, and many older adults continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. It's important to recognize and respect the sexuality of older individuals. Sexuality in old age. Sexuality does not stop with age. Many people continue to enjoy a satisfying sex life in old age, although they may face different physical and emotional challenges. Short hair fetishism involves a particular attraction to people with short hair, 
either for their aesthetic appearance or fetishistic associations. Social stigma. Despite its prevalence, pornography remains a stigmatized topic in many societies, which can hinder open and honest discussion about its impacts and practices. Standing positions. Although less common, some women enjoy standing sexual positions, such as against the wall or leaning standing, which can add an element of adventure and risk to the sexual experience. Stress response. Foreplay can help women release tension and reduce stress, allowing them to relax and fully immerse themselves in the sexual experience. Taboo and acceptance. Some cultures may consider certain fetishes taboo, while in others they are more accepted or even celebrated. This reflects cultural differences in the perception of sexuality and individual expression. Technology and virtual reality. Pornography is undergoing technological advancements, such as virtual reality, offering more immersive and realistic experiences for viewers. The female orgasm. Although the female orgasm may be more difficult to achieve than the male orgasm for some women, exploration, communication, and practice can help increase the likelihood of experiencing it. The importance of consent. Mutual consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. All parties involved must give their consent freely and consciously before engaging in any sexual activity. The influence of religion on sexuality. Religious teachings and moral norms can have a significant impact on people's sexuality, potentially causing internal conflicts between religious beliefs and individual sexual desires. The influence of religion. Religious beliefs can have a significant impact on attitudes towards sexuality, whether by promoting sexual abstinence before marriage, prohibiting certain types of sexual behavior, or encouraging chastity and moderation. The role of female pleasure. For a long time, female sexual pleasure has been overlooked or minimized compared to male pleasure. However, recognizing and valuing female pleasure is essential for equitable and satisfying sexuality for all individuals. Toys for G-spot stimulation. Some vibrators are designed with a specific curvature to stimulate the G-spot, a highly erogenous zone on the front wall of the vagina, which can provide more intense and pleasurable orgasms. Toys for the P-spot. Just as women have the G-spot, men have the P-spot, a highly erogenous zone within the rectum. Sex toys designed for P-spot stimulation can provide intense prostate orgasms. Types of anorgasmia. There are two main types of anorgasmia. Primary, in which the individual has never experienced an orgasm, and secondary, where the individual has had orgasms in the past, but no longer experiences them. Use of sensual cosmetics. Cosmetic products such as massage oils, flavored lubricating gels, and scented candles can be fun and sensory elements to incorporate into foreplay, stimulating multiple senses at the same time. Variation in intensity. Changing the intensity of caresses, kisses, and other forms of stimulation can keep arousal increasing and prevent monotony during foreplay. Variety of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can vary greatly from one person to another. Some are common, such as sex in public places, while others may be more unusual, such as excitement over foot fetishism. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,